Hi, and welcome to this Cup Experience Briefing. I'm Jack Griffin, and today we're going to talk about something really cool. The wing sail on the AC-45 catamaran. How it works to generate speed, and what the crew needs to do to handle the power. The AC-45 has a traditional soft sail up front. That's the jib. But what we want to talk about today is the wing. The wing on the AC-45 is a two-element wing, with a forward element and a trailing element. Think of the trailing element like the flaps on an airplane wing. We call the angle between the two elements camber. Increasing the camber gives more power. When you put camber into the wing, you open up a slot between the two elements. The slot affects something called boundary layer airflow. We'll save that topic for another briefing with more of the techie details. If we take a close-up look at the wing's structure, we can see that the leading element is actually integrated with the mast. Here's the trailing element. That black arm in the center of the picture helps control the shape of the wing. What do you notice about the trailing element? We'll come back to this picture later in the briefing and look at an important detail. So how do we control the camber? Let's take a look at a wing lying down on its side in the shop. We're looking at the bottom of the wing. This big gray plate rotates to change the angle between the leading element and the trailing element of the wing. Now, there's a readout inside the wing, against the mast, showing the amount of camber in the wing. But it's hard for the crew to see when they're sitting on the windward hull, hiking hard. Look at the foot of the wing. See those handwritten numbers and a thin cord? They were added to give the sailors another readout that they can see more easily. Let's take a look at all this in action. Here's an AC-45 powered up with camber in the wing. Now take a closer look. I've highlighted in orange that big gray plate and you can see the control line that adjusts the camber and read the setting, 35 degrees. AC-45s are supposed to race in winds from three knots to 30 knots. The wing gives them the power to race at the low end of that range, which means that at the high end of the range, these boats are way overpowered. So the crew puts twist into the wing to allow the wind to spill off the wing and reduce the power. The trailing element has three sections and each can be adjusted by 11 degrees. As soon as the wind gets over 10 knots, the crew starts adding twist to reduce power. If we take a look at an AC-45 sailing almost directly away from us, we can see the top section of the wing twisted off and the bottom section trimmed in. At the top of the wing, you can see the left or port side of the trailing element. At the bottom, you're looking at the right or starboard side of the trailing element. Let's go back and look at that close-up of the trailing element. If we look closely, we can see where two of the flaps are joined by some white tape, and in the center of the picture, the cable running to the black control arm that adjusts the twist. And the way the twist is adjusted is with this system on the bottom of the wing. Here we are with the wing laying down again. The part that's highlighted in purple rotates and moves the cables I've marked in yellow. Highlighted in green, you can see the set of pulleys and lines that the crew uses. Here it is in action with Charlie Ogletree of China Team adjusting the twist in the wing. So there you go, a short introduction to the wing sail. Thanks for your attention. I'm Jack Griffin, and I hope you'll join me again soon in the briefing room at cupexperience.com. If you have any questions, come to the website and ask Jack. I don't know all the answers, but I know people who do, and I'll find out for you.